Okay, in this video, I will show you exactly how you can add a distance widget to the iPhone home screen. Now, it may be a bit more complicated based on what you mean by that, because it is possible that by distance widget, you mean the steps widget, or you may mean something else in terms of maps and navigation or running. So it really depends on what you mean by that. For example, I recently downloaded this walking app which you can of course open up and track your steps. In case you wanna see the distance and add it as a widget on your home screen, you can go ahead and do that. You can just click on that, find the widget from the app pedometer, which I downloaded, and you can see exactly how many steps you took during the day, the exact length or the distance that you have walked, as well as how many floors you climbed. So you can add it like this, and that's basically the distance widget in that sense. In a different sense, you can also add some kind of different widget, but keep in mind that most likely you will need to get it from the App Store. So for example, if you go for runs, you may look up apps like Strava, which helps you track your distance for cycling and running, and you should definitely add, that, add it as a widget to the home screen as well. So that's an option as well. So that's, that's the distance widget. Besides that, you have some maps widgets as well, but those don't really work that way. Let me show it to you right now. So if I just look up, for example, Google Maps, I can show it up like this, but it just shows that uh, like you have frequent trips. No, before you go, you can search through the maps right away. But, you know, those don't really have any distance because it makes sense, like distance to what? You know, like you can add it to the home screen, but why do you need the distance? visible, I guess, and I suppose by the title or by the search term that you looked up, then you mean either cycling, running, or some kind of activity, and you want to see it on the home screen. So I would recommend you to get the steps one, and also one for running, and see if it has any widget available. So that would be my strategy on how you can add any distance widget on the iPhone home screen. So that's going to be about it. I'm going to wrap up the video right now, but before you go, I need to show you this. I need to invite you to my private Fox Tech educational platform, which is free to join. It's linked down below in the description. Inside, you can find many different things like social media section for video editing and photos editing in the future, in-depth iPhone guides and more stuff coming in the future. People already are learning, so go ahead and join them right now, and I will see you in the next future video. For now, thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up. See you guys later.